Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the vitamins and minerals that your body needs and what happens to your body, the diseases that occur when you have a deficiency in these vitamins and minerals. A balanced diet comprises of seven main components. Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water. Now each component is quite important and you need to know what each component does. So carbohydrates provide energy. And these are things that are obvious, like, um, like starchy foods, but they're also less obvious. Things like glucose, lactose, sucrose, starch, fructose, etc. Proteins, these help with growth and repair. And they're also quite obvious in that they're made up mostly of different meats, so fish, chicken, beef, etc. Lipids, lipids are for cell membrane structure and they're also a storage form of storage form of energy so when you run out of carbohydrates you generally tend to burn fats as an example if you go to the gym and you're a little bit overweight if you keep going to the gym eventually you'll get less overweight because your activity is burning energy because lipids are a storage form of energy vitamins come from the basic fruits and vegetables that you eat they're needed in small amounts for good health, small amounts, for good health, and exactly the same for minerals, they're also needed in small amounts for good health. Examples of vitamins and minerals thing like, are things like vegetables, when you have to eat your vegetables, like carrots will give you vitamin A. Um, minerals, in terms of that calcium, comes from things like broccoli or milk. Fibre. Fiber is roughage, and what it does is it keeps your digestive tract healthy. So think of it as basically bristles that help to sweep out your digestive tract. It keeps digestive tracts healthy, and water, it's a liquid that facilitates all chemical reactions. So all chemical reactions will happen in water. Water is a large component component of the cytoplasm. You also need water for basic things like photosynthesis or in terms of the human body, you need water for facilitating chemical reactions. There are some vitamins and minerals that you need to know the names of. So vitamins Now, the vitamins you need to know are A, B1, B2, B3, C, and D. Now, B1, B2, B3, you just need to be able to name them and know that they're used for cell respiration. And they have a deficiency disease associated with them, which I'll get onto on the next slide. Um, vitamin A is found in carrots. It's also found in things like fish liver oil, um, butter, and vitamin A helps with vision. So it makes up a chemical in the retina that helps us to see. Your B1, B2, B3, as I said, is for cell respiration. Your vitamin C is found in fresh fruit and veg. And that helps cell linings stick together. So if you don't have vitamin C, you get things like bleeding gums. Vitamin D, that comes mostly from sunlight. So sunlight comes on and activates a chemical in your skin that spontaneously produces vitamin D. You can also take in vitamin D 
by foods such as fish liver oil and also um, yeah fish liver oil and vitamin D helps um, helps us to absorb calcium helps us absorb calcium the minerals you need to know about are calcium phosphorus sodium chlorine magnesium and iron now each of these come from the foods we eat calcium would come from dairy you're always hearing calcium milk dairy it also comes from bread and fish and it helps us with our bones so it helps makes our make our bones stronger your phosphorus is found in most foods as is sodium and chlorine found in most foods and phosphorus also helps produce ATP it helps make DNA and it also helps with our teeth and our bones sodium it's sodium and chlorine are both also found in table salt so the usual stuff that you put on your fish and chips because sodium chloride is table salt and they make up blood plasma so the components sodium ions and chloride ions make up blood plasma magnesium is found in leafy green vegetables and the leafy green vegetables um, help us to build the strength in our bones iron is found in red meat and also in liver also in dark green vegetables like spinach and iron you'll hear, hear about it quite a bit it's used for hemoglobin which helps to carry oxygen around the body there are a number of deficiency diseases caused by both vitamins and minerals vitamin A vitamin B1 which is also known as thiamine vitamin B2 which is also known as riboflavin vitamin B3 which is also known as niacin vitamin C vitamin D calcium so we start with minerals protein and iron deficiencies okay now most of them are quite common sense so vitamin A deficiency is known as night blindness and that's when people have trouble um, seeing in the dark or seeing in partial darkness so when parents say to their children eat your carrots so you can see in the dark it's a partial truth because carrots contain vitamin A vitamin B1 thymine if you don't have that you'll get a disease called beriberi and this leads to weakening of muscles and sometimes even paralysis which is quite dangerous vitamin B2 is called riboflavin and that creates dry skin and poor growth so people don't grow to their full capacity lack of vitamin B3 again you've got the um, poor growth but you've got a disease called pellagra which is red dry skin poor growth and, and also sometimes digestive problems vitamin C this is the pirate's disease so if you don't have vitamin C you get scurvy and that comes from not eating fresh fruits and vegetables and scurvy basically means bleeding gums so you've got bleeding gums the membranes and the linings aren't sticking together properly so they're coming away which causes bleeding vitamin D you've got rickets which is also the case for calcium if you don't have either calcium or vitamin D the person is going to the rickets and rickets is basically a bending of the bones B2 
because they haven't hardened properly. So the bottom half of the bones in the legs bend underneath the weight of the upper body. So when children learn to walk and they haven't been given proper calcium and vitamin D, the bottom half of their legs bow because of rickets. Protein deficiency is called kwashiorkor. Lovely spelling there, do learn to spell it. Kwashiorkor is poor growth. Now we know that protein is for growth and repair. So poor growth is caused by a lack of protein, but not only poor growth is caused by um, lack of protein, you also get swollen belly. Now the swollen belly is caused by fluid collecting between the membranes of the gut. Which is quite dangerous because you've got poor growth, you're not having growth and repair, and you've got the fluid collecting between the gut membranes. So it makes the sufferer look a little bit like they've got a pot belly, but in fact, this person is lacking protein and starving quite badly. Um, iron, lack of iron causes something called anemia. And anemia is when there is no iron to make hemoglobin. So you've got a lack of hemoglobin. And I'm sure you can guess that the sufferers of anemia, because they've got no hemoglobin, they have very little oxygen going around the body. So one of the symptoms is tiredness. So if somebody's tired all the time, they need a bit more iron in their body to create more hemoglobin, to create more energy. So I'm just going to highlight the important deficiency disease names that you should have. So night blindness, beriberi, you've got pellagra, scurvy, rickets, kwashiorkor, and anemia. So there's seven deficiency disease names that you need to be able to tie to a mineral or vitamin that causes it, as well as what that type of deficiency disease is.